Now, what about vitamin D? We hear a lot these days about the importance of having sufficient vitamin D levels. It is clear that people who are vitamin D deficient, so these are people whose vitamin D levels have been measured, oftentimes have diminished immune system function. What is the takeaway here? I think that for most people, supplementing with 1,000 to 2,000 international units of vitamin D is probably safe. However, if you need more vitamin D, you won't know that unless you take a vitamin D test. That is, you measure the amount of vitamin D in your bloodstream. And some people indeed need 5,000 to 10,000 IU of vitamin D per day, but you don't want to overdose yourself on vitamin D. That is, if you already have sufficiently high levels of vitamin D in your system, and you're getting sufficient sunlight, well then taking 10,000 or more international units of vitamin D could possibly be detrimental. But it's probably a good thing to include in your general kit of nutrition and supplementation tools if your goal is to keep your innate immune system fighting off colds and flus sufficiently.